Good morning. This is Dylan Giovanni from Behind the Markets. Happy uh, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, March 4th, and it also happens to be National Sons Day. So for those of you who have boys, make sure you get in touch with them today. I know I will with my son, Teddy. I'm maybe play basketball with him at the end of the day, as we often do. He's getting bigger now. He's starting to beat me a little bit. What can I do? What can I do? I guess that's just the way of the world. Anyway, today I want to talk about air travel. And really, there's a couple of things going on that I've been thinking about in the past week. In the past couple of weeks, really, is we've heard about these accidents, a lot of airplane accidents. I'm not just talking about Boeing's manufacturing trouble. I'm talking about the way our system handles air traffic, like the software that we use and all these other things. And famously, there was a crash over D.C. about a month ago that really made us start questioning, made me start really asking myself, well, what kind of systems run these? What kind of software runs these? Because we have entered an era, if you really think about where we are now versus where we're going, we're entering an era where you're going to see an American sky filled with drones, delivery drones, transportation airplanes, just filled with things. So it's going to be really too much for people to handle. And it speaks to what we talk about when we talk about the military. We're always talking about why drones are really such a threat to, let's say, our aircraft carriers. Because if an enemy sends in 10,000 drones, one person on the ship, can't, gunner, just can't shoot them all down. So you need really to automate these, to really use AI to identify, target, and kill these incoming drones. And you certainly need lasers for that. But the same thing is happening over American airspace. Right now, if you can imagine a future 10, 20 years, even five years, Amazon's talking about delivery drones. They're all using these drones now. So basically, our airspace itself is getting too complicated, too many moving parts, too many flying things, basically for humans to be able to identify them quickly enough. So we are now shifting. We're starting to shift from that's the problem. We're starting to shift. What's the solution? Really to enable humans, help humans, give them new tools, new software to really identify all of these incoming, these aircraft, for lack of a better word, flying around our skies. And the way that we're going to do this is with software, obviously. And one of my favorite companies in the world that's still overvalued is Palantir. They've just made an investment. We just picked up a company that they've just bought a big chunk of that really has software to actually really monitor the skies. And you can see that this software is really on the verge of being rolled out across the country. That really has a big potential for growth because, again, as our skies get fuller, more and more full by hobbyists, by pilots, but most specifically by drones, it just becomes too overwhelming for humans to control that amount of traffic. I'm talking tens of thousands. We have a ton of airplanes. It, it's barely enough. We, we barely have enough capacity to handle the FAA air traffic we have flying around. But in a world of delivery drones and all these other types of things flying around, the, the chance for accidents rises so much. So the solution to that problem is software. And in one of our favorite stocks that we picked on a few months ago that we really saw big opportunities is very small cap stock trading three, four dollars a share that Palantir bought a big piece of. And we've just really wrote a special report about it in Breakthrough Wealth. And I urge you to get a copy. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.